Hello, uh, this video is for Professor Fan. I just wanted to share some thoughts I had about that problem. Um, so after the class, you showed me this sort of um, counter example um, where, where you defined omega as the set that contains a, b, and c. You defined events. Um, event 1 is just a, uh, event 2 being a or c kind of thing, and said that you can assign these probabilities equal to 1, and that in doing so, you're not violating any of the axioms of probability. Um, and I didn't quite understand what you meant by that, um, but I think, I think I do now. So I was definitely wrong um, when I wrote that, you know, the, um, the condition that probability of AI equals to 1 for all i. I said something, something like that implies that AI is the same thing as omega. I'm like, obviously that, that's not, <clears throat> that's not true. Um, okay, and the, the way that I can see that now is that for any sort of arbitrary sample space, uh, if the probability of some subset of it is equal to one, then by logically, by the expansion of or, the probability <coughs> of A or anything else would also be equal to one. Um, so I can, I can see that now. So my mistake was assuming that the probability measure defined was like some sort of uniform distribution where you're looking at, you know, the cardinality of uh, the set that <clears throat> that corresponds to your event divided by the cardinality of omega. So that was a mistake. Um, however, given our setup that the probability of AI equals one for all I, you, you do have to make a pretty major assumption and uh, I've detailed that, those assumptions here. Um, so in order for this to be true, either what I said would have to be true, or, and this reveals that what I was talking about is actually like a special case of this, there would have to exist a subset. Um, there would have to exist a set S that's a subset of omega, uh, such that the probability of S is one, and S is a subset of AI for all AI, and the probability of the complement of S in AI would have to be zero. Um, and we can see that uh, case one, which is what I assumed is, is actually a, just a special case of this, where uh, the S in question is actually the entire sample space. Okay, so to put it in words, we either have to assume that every AI is the entire sample space, or you'd have to assume the existence of some sort of core set within uh, the sample space that I call S that subsumes or monopolizes all of the probability um, to which you can unite any other arbitrary elements of um, omega by expansion of or, as I mentioned on the last, on the last one. But in, in either case, it seems to me to be trivially true that the intersection of any number of these AIs will be either um, omega in the first case or S in the second case. So I mean, that's sort of what you've constructed the sets around, this, this, this core uh, subset um, that, has, that has probability of one, and then you're just sort of adding things to it. So it seems like if you're going to then turn around the question and ask, um, you know, what's the probability of an intersection of any number of those sets? Well, of course it's going to be um, the probability of that core around which all of the sets were built. So, in any case, I've attempted to go through and actually do the proof because I didn't, I didn't actually copy it down in, in class, so I'm basically asking if this is correct at this point. So to prove it, I said a probability AI equals uh, 
one for all i, that's our given information, um, by the definition of complement, uh, the probability of the complement of ai is zero for all i. Um, okay, so if we've got a bunch of things that have no probability and we form their union, uh, that's also going to have zero probability. Um, by De Morgan's law, we can we can uh, basically move the complement from the the individual um, things that are being summed to the entire operation, but we have to flip union to intersection, so we can say that the probability of the complement of the infinite intersection of AIs is equal to zero. Um, and then and then we just establish that the thing that we're asking the probability of is actually the, the complement of this piece, the complement of the complement. So the probability of the intersection of AI from I equals one to infinity is one minus um, the probability here, and that's just by the definition of the complement, which is one minus zero, which is one, which which is what we were to demonstrate. Okay, so hopefully this is more right Oh, hopefully I'm mentally more on the right track than I was before. Okay, thank you.